Florence, Italy. This is the habitat of one of the most eye-catching creatures in all of creation, one which in many cultures has perhaps unsurprisingly come to symbolize pride or vanity. Nature's most extravagant narcissist, a peacock. A peacock that successfully mates can spawn hundreds or even thousands of miniature versions of himself. But competition for mates is fierce. It is not enough then for the peacock to merely shine bright, he must also eclipse his neighbor. The peacocks flock together in a clearing. Evolutionary biologists refer to a patch of ground used for communal display in this way as a lick. The prospective mates look on pickily, waiting to be impressed. Only the finest specimens will meet with their approval. Gradually, pairs are formed, unions consummated. The peacock is something of a social butterfly, often grouping together in order to multiply the visual impact of its splendiferousness and thereby increase its odds of attracting a mate. The collective noun for a group of peacocks is an ostentation. But even within these seemingly harmonious gatherings, there is constant jostling for position in the strict reproductive hierarchy. Research has demonstrated that peacocks spend up to 30% of their time, almost a third, looking at the other males in their leg. In other words, sizing up the competition. In an average lek, a mere 5% of the peacocks enjoy the overwhelming majority of the mates, while the rest are left to their own devices. Eyes averted, but ever alert, the peacock knows instinctively when he is being observed. Even when apparently oblivious to a prospective mate's gaze, he is in fact staging a carefully choreographed act for his audience. Indeed, the peacock will often settle to roost in a prominent spot where the partners are in plentiful supply. There, he will puff out his feathers and simply wait for a mate to come to him. However, the peacock is not above resorting to other, more nefarious means to achieve its ends, including deception. One trick for getting noticed is using fake mating calls to pretend to have more admirers than he actually has. Ultimately, reproduction remains the peacock's overriding priority. If he cannot find validation in the form of a receptive mate, then his preening will prove to be all in vain. His ostensibly confident aspect conceals a desperate need to be liked. While he might come across as a trifle obnoxious, he should instead be viewed as slightly tragic. For the peacock, as for the rest of us, survival is just no good if you don't have somebody to share it with.